Hello, in this video I'll show you how to use coroutines in Unity with C Sharp. Coroutines are a way to run tasks without blocking the main thread or other coroutines. For my example, I'll show you how to create a simple coroutine that changes the color of a cube every second. I'm starting here with a 3D project, and I'll create a cube on the scene for us to change. So I just go to 3D object, cube. Now let's create a script called coroutine example and attach it to the cube. So I just right click, create C sharp script. Let's call that coroutine example. Now I'll attach it to the cube by just dragging it right there. Let's go ahead and open up the script. Okay, once here, I'm gonna delete the update. We're not actually going to be using this, but we will use start at some point. Now inside the class, but outside of start, I'm going to define a variable to hold the color of the cube. Now, I'm initially setting it to red, but it is going to be randomly generated, so this is really just kind of a placeholder. Then let's define the coroutine method. I'm going to put this underneath the start method. A coroutine method starts with the I enumerator return type. and then we write the name of the coroutine. I'm calling it change color because that's what it's going to do. So eventually I'll have this so it'll change colors every second, but let's just have it so it changes one time, once after one second. So to inside the coroutine, we need to use the yield return statement to pause and resume the execution. For this example, we're going to use wait for seconds to wait for one second before it changes color. And then in parentheses, I can say how many seconds I want it to wait. Notice that the type it's looking for is float, so I need to put an F after that number. So if I want it to be one second, I would write one F. Then let's change the color to a random color. This random color HSV will pick a random color for us and put it into the color object I defined before. Then let's change the color of the cube's material. And what we're going to do is access the renderer component and set the material color property to the color we just picked. And this is our coroutine. So it's going to wait one second before it proceeds. In the meantime, the rest of the program could continue. Now in order for this to run, we need to start the coroutine. And a good place to put that is in the start method. It's called before the first frame update, so it's a good place to initialize things. And to run this coroutine, I simply type start coroutine, and in parentheses, the name of the coroutine I'd like to run. And in this case, it's change color. So notice this is our coroutine name, and inside here, this is what I'd like to run. So let's save the script and try it out. So what should happen is when I hit play, it'll wait one second and it will change the color of this cube. Okay, great. Now it only changed one time. So if we'd like to have it repeat every second, we can simply put a loop inside of our coroutine. And I'll put this code inside. And so it will loop indefinitely, but it will wait for a second, change the color it'll be set to, and then update the material color of the object and continue to do that. So let's save and check that out. So now it should change every second and just keep going. And this coroutine would run in parallel with the main thread and other coroutines without blocking them. I hope this helped you out on how to use coroutines in Unity with C Sharp. And if you're interested in other Unity and coding tutorials, check out my channel.